Well, hello guys, this is November 1, Charlie Yankee again, and uh, we're gonna do an update on my favorite go-to radio. And it's uh, right here, the handheld, the QYT, KD8R. It's been almost a year since I've had this radio, and I wanna do an update uh, after one year of ownership. Um, it's been a great radio super reliable very easy to use it's got a high capacity lithium ion battery lasts for a really long time uh, high power is 5 watts low power is 1 watt again and uh, oftentimes I use it with this uh, Kenwood speaker mic <laughs> although right now I don't have it connected so this radio, guys, um, it's been really nice radio. The receive audio is great. The transmit audio is fantastic. The built-in speaker is really nice. The radio is rugged, good, high quality. And again, super easy to use. Display is color display. It's a quad band, again, to refresh. It's a quad band. Two meter, 220, 350, and 440. Now for ham radio operators, we don't have permissions on 350, but this radio has this band. So you can listen. If you're lucky enough to find any activities on that band, but anyhow, you can customize, so you can have all UHF displayed or all VHF displayed, but it will only receive on one channel, the one that's selected. And this is your memory VFO button right here. We have to just give me one of his, uh, his uh, authorizations, I guess. That way, no matter what um, Cox gives me, um, it gets for channel mode. So my only, <coughs> sorry, my only gripe about this radio is the display is hard to see in the daylight. So it's susceptible to glare, as you can see here. And in the daylight, it's super hard to see. However, in the, in the shade or in the dark, it's phenomenal. So color display, it's really, really good. And the radio talks to you. Two, zero. It's the channel number, two, zero. Three, zero, one, nine, nine. So it talks back to you the channel number. So if you know what the channel number is, um, you're good to go. If you can't see the screen, you're good to go. So yeah, so it's been a while since I've posted a video. Plus, I have a big surprise for you. Uh, we're gonna change the channel content a little bit. And I've been busy with my other channel, which is focused on off-roading and uh, landscape photography. And that's Exoplanet Nomad. I'll put a link to it down there. If you're interested in that kind of thing, I'd love for you to visit, subscribe. But I do appreciate you staying here with me i do appreciate all my subscribers i and i promise you i will uh, have more ham radio content for sure but we gonna mix it up uh, with some uh, surprise coming up absolutely so again i love the radio fantastic radio excellent receive audio excellent transmit audio and the only complaint is the uh, display um, and the sunlight. But like you see here in the shade, it's perfect. No problem. So here's an update also on what we have in the Jeep. We've updated uh, the radios that I have in the Jeep here. So let's go over there. Okay, so this is what we have in the Jeep right now. Uh, we have the FTM 400. Let's 
so we got Yesu Fusion. It's sitting in a cup holder, the uh, the head unit. Uh, it's a flexible cup holder. And we got the uh, Icom D Star. So now we have Yesu Fusion, and we have D Star. And that's anchored through this down there to the seat. And I do have a lot of stuff in this car that I carry. Um, so we're trying to manage here. Um, so anyway, we have the Yesu Fusion. And we also have the Icom D-Star radio. And I do enjoy using both a uh, D-Star and Yesu Fusion. Um, so that's the update on the Jeep for now. And I do have, like I said before, I do have a surprise for you. Please let me know in the comment section um, if you would like to see more content inclusive of, of what's coming up. And I do have a thing or two to say about that. Um, but I hope you like the surprise. And I hope you're up for more content. And we'll show you what I'm talking about in a minute here. So don't go anywhere. Hold on. Here we go. Oh, surprise surprise we got a drone yes and I think uh, drones and ham radio go hand in hand and it's the evolution of ham radio to have drones being involved uh, because like ham radio uh, you know ham radio has a backbone in emergency communication public safety and drones can be used for that too in the case of flooding uh, earthquake, fire, tornadoes, hurricane, or any situation that has public emergency, drones can be used in a positive way to contrib contribute and to aid hams in emergency communication. So it's, I think it's the evolution of ham radio, and I think it's being used as we speak in many, many ways. So why not? Why not embrace drones? Um, I love them. This is a flyby at the Eastern Sierras that I've used my drone to, to photograph, to video. And uh, in a minute, I'll show you my uh, day camp um, at the Alabama Hills. So this is my day camp. This is my, uh, my Jeep down there. I got my dog out running around. We're at the Alabama Hills shooting some drone footage so again drones have a role to play in ham radio and i think they go hand in hand but i'd like for you to comment i do appreciate uh, your subscription and uh, your following and i promise you more content on ham radio but we're going to di diversify a little bit we're going to include some drone footage and let me know what you think. Let me know what you think in the comment section. Let me know how you feel about uh, including drones with the hobby of ham radio and how you feel about that. Uh, comment. Um, I really appreciate your feedback. And thank you so much for your subscription. And Happy New Year to everyone. Happy New Year. It's going to be a phenomenal year. I promise you more content, like I said before. There's going to be more content coming up on ham radio equipment. 
and we're gonna figure out a way to include the drone plus check my other channel which is gonna be uh, uh, focused on off-roading and landscape photography obviously there's gonna be a lot of drone footage in there too and that's exoplanet nomad i'll put a link for you down there so thank you everyone for your subscription and i really appreciate you and i will appreciate your comment and respond to them as best as i can enjoy the rest of this footage although it's kind of silent um, enjoy it and we'll catch you on the next video this is november 1 charlie yankee bye bye 73